Hello my doves! Welcome, welcome back. Welcome or welcome back to Outside by Olympia. I haven't said that in a long time. <laughs> if you're new here, my name's Olympia and I do videos here on YouTube about beauty and makeup available in Australia for deeper skin tones. And today we have a bronzer review. If you're interested to find out what the Glow Wish by Huda Beauty in the shade Rich number five is all about. I suggest you keep watching. Before you do though, subscribe down below. I've not said that in a while. Subscribe, 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 subscribe. If you want to, you don't have to, but if you want to, subscribe. Well. Okay, moving on, let's get into this video and we can try this out on our skin. From the top. Drop that. Uh, yeah, feel the funk, y'all. Uh, yeah, feel the funk, y'all. Uh, yeah, the laid back in the cut. What's up? What's up? Hello, my doves. Welcome, welcome back to Update by Olympia. Today's video is going to be a bronzer review. My god, when was the last time I did a bronzer review video? Like, can y'all tell me? You'll probably already know. <laughs> um, I can't even remember what bronzer it was. Was it Gucci? No. Kosas? No. Zoeva? I cannot remember which one it was the last bronzer that I reviewed. But I'm doing currently a full face of Huda Beauty. I am wearing the Glow Wish foundation in the shade 10 Deep Tan. I have Huda on the eyes. This is the Naughty palette. On the lids, I'm wearing Huda lashes, brows, the lip. But it's time for the I have the deeper shade in number five, Rich, for you guys today. And would you believe that uh, this is the not the first time that Huda have released a bronzer? They do have the the cream bronzers. The, I can't remember what they're called. Like tan, tan to it, tan to it. They're called. And while I love a cream bronzer, I am a powder girl all the way all these cream things that are coming out listen i have oily combo skin so cream products aren't really my jam they've never been my jam i like a matte face so i'm waiting for this cream trend to kind of go on by i digress this is the glow wish by Be uh, huda beauty in the deeper shade it looks absolutely gorgeous i don't know why i thought this was going to be a baked product but it's not <laughs> i literally thought looking at this i was like oh yeah it's baked but um i think because of the marble effect i thought it was going to be baked but no that is an interesting like interesting packaging it's actually kind of ugly i don't really like i don't like the packaging of this like it's quite awkward and weird so this is the soft radiance bronzing powder by huda beauty in the shade number five rich we are going to play with this today i want to do comparisons for you guys in this video but i'm running out of time i do have work this evening so i'm gonna have to post some comparison swatches on my community tab so go check that out. I'll have some swatches up ready for you guys. But now, first of all, let's go into brushes that I'm going to be using, talking about. So I have two bronzer brushes that I really, really like. Both are from Sonia G. And then I have a third that I haven't really used in a long time, but I still like to mention it. It is from Marc Jacobs, which is the bronze. This makes a fantastic fantastic bronzer brush trust me and then i've got the sonia g which is the face pro which has got the angle gets right into the grooves there and i have the master face which is nice and round and you can use it to buff if you want a bit more of a targeted sculpt type bronzer look i would suggest something like the huda sorry the huda the Sonia G Smooth Buffer, I like that one for more targeted look. There's three brush options for you. If you want something more 
affordable, I would suggest you try the Fenty Beauty Bronzer Brush 195. This is for a more sculpted, kind of directed, smaller, more precision type bronzing. Um, but yeah, this is just a quick boom, boom, bang. Apparently I waffle on too much when it comes to brushes, but you know, it's fine. Okay, I'm going to use this face, Master Face. Today, just because everything's like round, I don't know. That's just what we're gonna do. I'm gonna zoom you guys in and we're gonna test this out real quick. Oh, I haven't actually said how much this cost or like anything about it really. Wow, I'm so rusty. I normally have a formula for this type of thing, but that's just gone out the window. So, glowish soft radiance bronzing powder there are five shades light medium tan light deep tan and then rich which is the one that i purchased it's a soft radiance boosting bronzer that will instantly get you glowing this bronzer is beautifully beautiful and so easy to use blends all skin tones a natural looking tan uh warming your complexion with luminosity so it looks like it's gonna be a bit glowy i think i'll be glowy today the duo tone marble swirl which is totally hypnotic will take you from a delicious golden I just left the beach glow to a more contoured look in just a few swipes. The light as air non-powdery texture applies like silk and blends so seamlessly we swear it feels like you're wearing nothing at all. Available in five universal shades, everyone can achieve a bronzy glow and last up to 12 hours. The blurring pigments and velvet finish creates that desired soft focus effect, making your skin look more even and so smooth. It's also non-drying, transfer-proof, and non-comogenic. The formula is fragrance-free and infused with good for skin ingredients, including plant-derived squalene, vitamin E, shea butter, red bell pepper extract, and Damascus rose oil, which is in the wishful get even rose oil, which I have, and I absolutely love that oil. Um, the oil is very special ingredient because it soothes, clarifies, locks in moisture, and it's the reason why the application is so silky. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in. Okay, so. I'm gonna zoom you guys back out and uh, yeah, we can hear my uh, my thoughts on this bronzer. It's very interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. My face is completed as you can see. Let's talk about this Glow Wish Bronzer by Huda Beauty, the Soft Radiance. Bronzing powder in the shade 05 Rich. Okay. I mean, you can't tell now that I've got my blush on, but one of the things that I found odd about this, um, well, there's, there's a number of things I found odd about this bronzer. I don't think I've ever quite come across, sorry, here, a bronzer that is quite so weird. Like the formula's different. I've never come across formula like this before and I've tried a lot of bronzers in my time there is literally virtually 
because I need this, I think. Um, no kick up. There's no, there's no loose powder flying anywhere. How many, how much is in here? There's eight grams of product or 0 0.25 fluid ounces. And like, I don't, it does no kick up. You can tell, you can't even tell that I've used it. Like it's just so bizarre. If I was to show you my brush, like I've clearly used it. Clearly it's been used, but there's no, it's so weird. Like there's no kick up. Now, the undertone is very purple. Now she did this with her rich in her tan tour undertone for the deeper shade was quite purple um, blue purple undertone so when you were doing uh you know contour with that particular product tan or whatever it's called bron bronto or whatever it's called um you were able to kind of sculpt with it as well this is too purple for my undertones i have olive golden undertones and I like it, but it, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to think about this dang bronzer. Like I, I know it's the first impressions. Um, I don't know if I have to use this more before I can get a better sense of like what it's supposed to do. I don't know. I'm just using another brush. And I'm going to go along my forehead a bit more. So look, no kick up. Product is there. See how it goes on almost like purple red? For someone who has golden undertones, even neutral, this is gonna be way too red purple in undertone. It's just not, it's not right. It's not, it's weird. The undertones are not quite right, I feel. I know they had like deep skin tones in mind, well clearly they did. You know, like the Nima Tangs of the world, but this is not quite deep enough for her, but it would be the perfect undertone for her skin, if that makes any sense. I mean, she's got neutral undertones, I believe. So, um, this would warm up her face quite nicely if it had the depth that it was required for her to be able to use. But for me, with my goldenness, I literally just look purple. Like, I don't know if you can see, oh, I don't know if you can see in the monitor. I, I look, I look purple. Like, all I see is, before all I saw was like golden, orange, glowy, but now I just feel like purple all around. I don't know if it's the eyeshadow and then the blush and like, then the bronzer on top of that. I honestly couldn't tell you, but for a fact, before I put my blush on, I was looking at my skin and I was like, why do I look so purple? I look so purple. Yeah, that's basically what I have to say about this bronzer. Is it deep skin friendly, 100% shows up, shows out, does its thing. The undertones, however, are not for my complexion. The, the, the undertones of the bronzer don't match my skin undertone, if that makes any sense. So that's basically what I took from it. All right, guys. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. Go ahead and subscribe if you want to. You don't have to, but if you want to, subscribe down below. And I will see y'all on the next video because I'm back. Bye.